All right, everybody. Hello and welcome. Today we're continuing our playthrough of Carto, which is a puzzle adventure game. Pretty cool. This girl can uh, get pieces of a map and rotate them and move them around and change the landscape, which is really cool. The, the puzzles are, you know, some of them are really, you know, fun and interesting. Okay, let me check if the stream is running. All right, title and category are good. Check if the stream is running. Okay, that's my voice. That's my crazy voice. All right, microphone audio good. Let's go back to stream manager and start. Here we go. Uh, here, we're like almost four hours into the game. We're at chapter four, chalet. How many uh, chapters are there? Hold on. Carto, how many chapters? Mm. Uh, looks like 10, 10 chapters. How long to beat Carto? Uh, let's see, about six hours, six and a half hours. All right, who knows if we'll finish it today. All right, back to stream manager, let's go. I'm actually really enjoying this game a lot. So here's the girl and she can walk around. And we go to the map, we can move around stuff. Like, see? And we could even rotate. Okay. But for now, let's see what this area has to offer. You have to explore and you have to find uh, stuff to interact with and other pages of the map. What's this blue thing? Okay. Oh, it's a pond. A path. Wait, a path locks. Wait, a path back to the grassland. Just across the river. Oh, there's a path over there. Okay, so we're stuck here. What is this? Whose house? The little cartographer. After being led out of the Wildwood, the little cartographer arrived at a strange building, hidden amongst the trees. Huh? That's me! She followed her curiosity inside and picked up the first book that she saw. Just then, the story tender entered. Huh? Ah, there's that darn book. I've been looking everywhere. It's a good one, eh? I was thoroughly riveted. Couldn't put it down. And then, when I did, I forgot where I put it. Ghost lilies, bear hugs, farting sheep, what an adventure! <gasps> this is about me! Well, clearly you have a good taste. Welcome to the story cha chalet. We're not easy to find. You must have a nose for knowledge. I'm the story tender, and I take care of our rather unique library. You'll find lots to love here, and our stories are always changing. In fact, they've been changing rather quickly of late. I was just in the middle of sorting some books, but these old bones could use a break. Let me show you how things work around here. Hey, 
And this is the desert wing of the chalet. Not to be confused with the dessert wing, which is sadly still under construction. Like I mentioned, each wing contains stories related to a specific area of the world. And recently, oh wait, I recently started reading a good one in this very room. It was about an old lady searching for her granddaughter in the desert. <gasps> That's my grandma! I know, right? What a good premise! When I left off, uh, the granny was getting a bit exhausted. Oh no! I can see you're excited about learning. Oh, to be a curious young mind again. Well, off you go then. Have at these books. I'll be in the writing room. Just let me know if I can be of any assistance. Grandma! Oh no! First floor. Let's check what's going on on the map. Oh. Oh. How do we get in this? Ah, oh, stairs, stairs, stairs. I would imagine like something like this. I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with that. Okay. Any books? Destination desert, desert. There was sand as far as the eye could see. It was inescapable. Between your sheets, on your skin, in your sandwiches. When the sandstorms were at their most fierce, whole camps would be buried. Roots leading back to the grassland and other neighboring regions would disappear. These paths could be found again by intrepid adventurers or at times unwitting wanderers. Huh. Second floor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, wait. A Searching the sands. The desert could be a harsh place and was home to a resilient nomadic people. The shifting sands were a way of life, often confounding the flora and fauna. And within the tumult, a wizened woman searching for her granddaughter. They had been separated by a storm and yearned to be together. Huh. Grandma! Hey there! Oh, what's, what's this? The Enigmatic Story Chalet. Welcome... Well, man, I forgot what voice you. Welcome to the writing room! This is where all of our stories are created, though I can't tell you how. It's not a secret. I just don't know. No one does. That thingamajig over there just churns them out and has been for a long, as long as anyone can remember. My job is to tend to the stories, and that's good enough for me. If you'd like to know more about the story chalet, this is the room for it. I keep some of my other favorites here, too. Huh. How about this? Deep in the forest, in an unmemorable corner, sits the Story Chalet. This peculiar building can be tricky to find when you're looking for it, 
but easy to stumble across when you aren't. It houses a remarkable library of books overseen and cata cataloged by a story tender. These mysterious tomes are endlessly updated by an unseen hand documenting stories and cultures around the world. The building itself is an architectural marvel and with a deceptively simple facade that obscures its more sophisticated interior. Huh. Hmm? Wait. The observers above. Their people served on essential their people served an essential function to chart the lands, noting any changes and shifts over time immemorable immemorial. They traveled by airship, quietly observing from high above, rarely disturbing the people below. Their navigation skills were peerless, passed down through the collective memory of their ancestors. Simply, they were cartographers, by trade and by blood. Ah, oh, that's us. A book lies open on the desk. Nearby, a typewriter taps steadily on its own. Spooky. Ah. Okay. You know, the, these uh, pendulum things? I remember when I first saw one when I was little. It was like in a... Oh. It was in a... Uh, dentist office. Uh, my parents worked uh, for an older dentist, and it, it, he had one of those, and it was so cool. First time I'd seen one, it was awesome. Okay, hold on. Let's go. Okay, how did we connect this? Did we connect this too? When in doubt, ask a book. Second floor. Okay, these two doors are the doors up there. Let's let's go here first. Yeah. So the the little bottom nubs, those are the doors at the top. But they're closed if there's nothing to go to. Second floor. If we move this here. Does that turn that into the first floor? Basement one. Huh. That is very interesting. Is that same here? Basement one. Okay, so I think I know how the doors work. Let's finish these rooms. A lot of books. The Gathering of Magic Books. The Grasslanders found endless ways of improving their lives through clever applications of plants. Using an amalgam of different rubber plants, they created a new type of footwear. Oh. These magic boots could be stretched to fit any sized foot and raised the running speed of its wearers. The last known pair awaits someone bold enough to sport them. Somewhere in the grassland wing of basement two of the story chalet. 
Somewhere in the grassland wing of basement two. <gasps> uh, I think I know what to do. Huh? All right. All right. This is the grassland wing. This is, I guess, typewriter room. This is something. They said the desert wing. We need it to be basement two. So we have to stack these rooms. Let's finish this. Nomads of the grasslands. Nomads by nature, the people of the grassland typically migrate once a generation. They travel to barren lands, uh, bearing seeds and ancient irrigation techniques. The grasslanders are deeply attuned to their flora, listening to the voice of the earth and coaxing its growth through song. By the time the next generation migrates, the land they leave behind is a fertile paradise. Ah. Popular, wait. Popular grassland campfire songs. What the hell is that? Oh man, there's a flying bug in the house. I can't get a good look at it, but what the hell is that bug doing here? I don't like bugs. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't bother me. Hope it's not, not a stinging thing. Okay. Good night, sleepy sheepy. Sympathy for red devils. Ganga style. <laughs> Ballad of the sour potato. Traditional. Begonia bop. Boncar's mournful melody. Hey there, Dahlia. Hey there, Delilah, what you doing in New York City? <laughs> oh, it's what you do to me. <laughs> what you do to me. I remember that song. Who sang that song? Oh, man, someone to tell me in the comments. All right. We have to stack these. So we are will end up being basement two. Yeah, see? Gotcha. Wait, let's make sure we're all connected. Boots! Magic boots! Very cool. Alright, um we're red, all of this. We read this. Wait, we are now basement two. Right? Are we wearing these things? Why can't we go up now? Oh, because we don't have a stairs. Okay. Oh, that's this room. Little cartographer. With her fancy new boots, the little cartographer knew that nothing could stop her. She would head out to cross the river and find her way to the desert. Uh, where she hoped her grandmother waited. Huh. Entrance, first floor. An inky beige liquid. Is that ink? Why would ink be beige? The little cartographer. So I think we did everything here. We got the boots, I guess. Alright, dude. Thank you. Oh, nice boots. 
I didn't notice them when you first arrived. Yeah, we stole them from you. They look like they can... Oh, fudge. Hold on, I have to turn off the answering machine. I'm back. All right. Uh, they look like you can get you wherever you need to go. Yeah. I bet you're eager to get back outside and put those boots to use. Mm, okay. Thank you. Is there nothing else here? No. All right. Boots! Mm-hmm. Put some pep in your step. Save time and whiz right over shallow obs obstacles. A mystical gift from the Watcher. Who knows what it does? Wriggling worm. An earthworm wriggling with excitement. It has a taste for adventure and dirt. These are notes from Grandma. Boat carving, a memento from the island. Okay. Let's look at our map. So we could cross this now. Boop. Ah, see? We couldn't do that before. But. Trail to grassland. Return to the grassland? Yes. Doop, doop, doop. Welcome back, little wood sprite. We were worried when you disappeared. Did you happen to see the ghost lily? Oh, the ghost lily is going to be a giant ghost lily soon. Ah, well, I figured I'd ask. Moncar will be sad to hear it. I think he was still holding out hope. But everyone will be glad to have you back. Though, I know that look in your eye. Are you on your own secret mission now? Uh, maybe. Hmm, you're looking for somewhere sandy? I don't know such a place, but sometimes Mo, the shepherd, arrives home covered in sand. Huh. All right, we'll go to Mo. No road ahead. Mm-mm. Let's look at the map. We have to go to Monkar. If only you had an axe to grind. Mm. Food? What an enormous leaf! You had better leave it alone. A basket of orange fruit. Orange, you glad you saw some fruit? Okay. Sacks full of flourishing flowers.
a thick notebook filled with handwritten notes about different plants. A jar with a sweet fruity scent emanating from within. A hearty hearth. A honey fruit sapling. Gone ghost lily hunting. Oh. A fermenting barrel of something. Oh. Mixed grass tea. It smells like uh, everything. A pot of simmering cabbage soup. Healthy. Oh. Wait. Okay. A strange little girl comes back with pieces of map in her sack. Her instincts first rate. And her boots, pretty great. But the desert is dry. Don't get chapped. Okay. You have to find Mo. What is this? It's so weird how this, how you, how you can enter here and then end up over here. Okay, that's Mo over there. Dude, wake up. <laughs> uh, what? My sheep! Have you seen my sheep? Uh, wait. All of my sheep are here. Why did you wake me up? Hmm. Oh, where do I get Sandy? Uh, don't tell my dad, but I don't know. Sometimes I just wake up that way. Maybe I can show you when I'm asleep. Now I'm wide awake now, but there are probably some plants that can knock me out. But I'm no plant expert. Huh. If you want to see where I get Sandy, you might have to put me to sleep with some plants. Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure that out. We'll have to talk to Ganga. Let's just explore a bit. Huh. Oh, we can't crop. Fudge. Curved roads to tents. Oh, look, it's the kids. Hello again. Ooh, are those new boots? You're certainly making good time in them. But you must be tired from running around so much. Children, what plants can we use to help our friends sleep soundly, soundly tonight? I know, pick me. It's not a competition. Everyone can answer. I think each of the children has something to tell you. When you gather the plants, put them inside this pot. Oh. Uh, do 
housing daisies! They slowly nod and make everyone around them tired. There are a bunch planted near the circle road. Oh. Slumberstalk! Its stems have a gentle fragrance that makes everyone sleepy. It grows in the center of a field of yellow leaves. Huh. Whisper grass. When the wind blows through it, it sounds like a bunch of people going shh. I saw some at the mouth of the river. Okay. All right, helpful. Circle. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Circle something? Something, something? In the mouth of the river? Huh. What? Why we gotta walk all the way over there? Oh. No? Fudge. Okay. Ganga. Teacher always knows best. Yeah, th that weirds me out that uh, we come in at that tent and exit this tent. Oh, it's Mo Moncar. Tell me you saw it, young sapling. Tell me you saw the ghost lily. No. It's gonna grow gigantic now. No! I'm sorry. I was just so excited when it appeared. And since you disappeared right after, I thought you may have found it. Ah, oh, well. It will bloom again, eventually. All right, mouth of the river. Huh, maybe Mo knows where Mo goes. He should be with his sheep. Mouth of the river. This is the mouth of the river? What does mouth mean? I think mouth is like where the river No. I thought it meant where it goes to the sea. We're gonna have to figure this one out. like I don't want to walk. <laughs> How can we get this to... Hmm. 
Fudge. Well, he flipped it and reversed it. So, I have to figure it out from there. Let's ask the teacher again. Alright, let's start one by one. You can't find the dozing daisies? Oh, Fudge, you can just follow the kid. See how the roads make a circle? The daisies are nearby. Roads make a circle. Okay, okay. How many? One, two, three. We need another circle, right? We're missing, we're missing a piece, right? Fudge, I flipped it. <laughs> It's confusing. Daisies are nearby. Slumber stalk grows in a field of yellow leaves. You know, like the ones that Auntie Tulia tends. Oh. I see it. Satchel of sticks. Don't get stuck. A hanging garden of exotic spices. You know, these look like daisies, yellow flowers. Why can't I get it? Is there another one just like that? Oh, there's a bunch of them actually. Just move them nearby. Are these not also? Oh man, why is this so difficult? Yellow flowers. Those are the only ones. I 
There we go. <laughs> Man. Okay, now where is it? Here. All right, we got the the daisies. Yeah, things are not going to be Ah, uh, I got it. Okay. So, the circle we have to make the circle, it will be incomplete. There we go. Clever puzzles. There they are. All right, we got, we need one more. This kid. There's some whisper grass by the mouth of the river. You know, right next to both the river and the open ocean. Ah. See, I was trying to make that before. Got it. Got it. <laughs> now, you know, I'm getting the hang of it. How do we... How do we get over there? All right, we got the plants. I got them all. Uh, we have to put them in the pot, right? Oh, we should just talk to the teacher and figure it out. The children are all so knowledgeable about plants. I'm so proud. Okay, we have to put them in in a bowl or something? In a pot? I guess we just talk to what's his name? awake flowers for me and the sheep uh, yeah um, how thoughtful more flowers uh, you're really uh, uh, yeah. uh, spoiling us <sighs> okay Oh, he sleepwalks. Huh. He just sleepwalks to the desert. Uh, would you like some more tea, Penelope? Learner. Wait a minute. There must. There's a whole desert to explore. Gotta explore this first. Let's make sure there are, aren't any map pages here. Boop, boop, boop. 
Boop. Map page. Such steadfast mounts are boys. They're able to conserve water in their bodies, the clever things. It makes them too heavy to cross the yellow sands, but it's helpful to have extra water around, just in case. It's a good thing we found these cacti when we did. Oh, camel. Oh, when did I get so old? You'd better believe I'm sharp as a cactus, but my body feels like an ancient temple these days. Sandy and full of skeletons. Enjoy it while you can, kiddo. Beautiful, isn't she? This golden desert of ours? Curves as far as the eye can see. Ha! Huh. We used to have a lush oasis all to ourselves, but it dried up, or dried right up. We've been searching for another water source ever since. Hmm. You must be parched, young sister. I wish we had more to offer you. We're down to our last few cacti, and Granny Nua is looking a bit worse for wear. I'm fine. Yes, yes, of course you are. We were barely able to set up this camp in time before the sandstorms rolled in. The rest of our unit headed west, across the yellow, de the yellow sands. Are you familiar with our desert? Be careful in the yellow sands. They're ever-shifting, and the landscape around you can change in a heartbeat. The white sands around us are calm. You can always use them to find your way back. Hmm. If you brave the yellow sands, keep heading west to find the rest of our sisters. We have to go west. If you do, please tell them we haven't seen the captain yet. She's a strong woman, but this sort of thirst can break even the strongest of us. The elders told a desert haven, told of a desert haven. We're hoping to find water there to sustain us. Yes, even your elders have elders. Captain Samala went looking for the desert haven, but we haven't heard from her since. I do hope that girl's all right. Hmm. Keep heading west. Oh. Okay. Sure we see it. Oh no. All right, that sounds good. This is like the fog tiles. All right. Oh, 
We're getting closer. We got it. What happened? Papers. connect this hmm. follow the footprints in the yellow sands make sure they connect captain Footprints in the yellow sands. A tightly locked chest with a series of numbers scrawled on it. Oh, jeez. 90, 180, 270, 270, 270, negative 270, and then 90. Okay, we're going to have to turn some of these things in a particular way. Some unusable vessels. A long abandoned tent. Watch out for scorpions. Footprints in the yellow sands. Footprints. Do do. Do do. Can't I feel like it's not doing it? Oh, we have to know which way. Okay, we have to know the previous one. That goes like this. So the bottom one we have to rotate. So we just keep doing it. There we go. Boom, boom. OK, 
Okay, so we did align it. No. How can I see which... Make sure the footprints align. Changes. Fudge. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to Google this one. Carto. Yellow sand footprints. Images for Carto yellow sand footprints. Those are images. Go back to the nearest yellow sand piece. Now, here you'll find animal footprints going towards one of the edges of the piece. Place the next piece. Wait. Lies to make sure make sure they The footprints in yellow sand. Place the yellow sand tiles to make sure they connect. Go to Desert 9 PNG pick up the piece. All right. All right. We got it. We have to memorize the piece. It's not just you could go to any piece. All right. So this one will always be straight. And this one will always be a curve going like this why no That one went like this. Does it connect? It connects. All right, we got we got a piece.
some equipment and supplies dusted with sand. Where is... It used to be such a picturesque oasis. I'd shed a tear, but I need to conserve liquid. Gasp! Our captain went missing a few weeks ago, during an especially strong sandstorm. She's the best water seeker we have. I'm sure she can survive on her own, but it's been so long. Granny Nua must be so worried about her. Hmm. The captain left signs along the way so he could follow her, but some got swept up by the sand. Could the haven be real? Maybe she's already there. Cough. Hello, little sister. You have the blood of a water seeker in you. I can tell. Not everyone can read the desert so well. We lost track of Captain Samala, but we will find her. Just as we'll find some water soon. We seekers use all of our senses to locate water. We inspect the appearance of the plants. We sense the movements of the animals, the density of the air. Clues are everywhere. All right. Sometimes water can be found near where vegetation grows in clusters. Keep an eye on those cacti in the yellow sands. Hmm. What a dramatic dromedary. That's a camel. Okay. Oh. Ouch, what a terrible idea. Okay, don't touch the cactus. Alright, we got coconut. I gotta put the lime in the coconut. Oh man. <laughs> that Alan Wake game. Did they need a coconut? Let's let's Why what, what is this? It used to be such a picturesque oasis. I know what to do. I'd shed a tear, but I need to conserve liquid. We have to make a space. Head west across the yellow sands. We won't be far behind. We'll join the others to the west just as soon as I'm rested. Okay, I feel like... Huh, we got an extra piece? No. You would think it would go... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need one more. We need one more thing to put. Hmm. No. Cactus. Cactus here. Okay. 
Got it. Yeah. So yeah, we put all the cactus together and we open up another part of the map. A noble camel chewing on a long ornate silken scarf. What did this unlock? do we do? This oasis. Hmm. I know we need one more piece, but fudge. to be such a picturesque oasis. Keep an eye out for clues in the yellow sands. Captain might have left a message. Okay. Sometimes water can be found near where vegetation grows in clusters. Keep an eye on those cacti in the yellow sands. Okay, that's how we got that's how we got that. So we, we've completed that. We completed... Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Follow the footprints in the yellow sands. Make sure they connect. We, okay, we did that. We did that. A tightly locked chest with a series of numbers scrolled on. Oh, fudge. This is the one. 90. 180. Oh, fudge. Okay, we have to take a photo of this. Because I think we have to rotate this this particular piece. Okay. Let's take a photo. Okay. Map. Okay. Uh, I would imagine it's clockwise and counterclockwise, counterclockwise being the negative. So let's let's move everything out of out of the way. Oh, 
Okay, rotate 90. Mm. Clockwise. 90. Yeah, I heard it. I heard the combination thing. Negative 180. 270. What's 270? 360 is a full circle. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Negative 270. 1, 2, 3. Then 90. Got it. Opened. A luxurious chest filled with shimmering treasure. Surely no one will miss one coin. We got a coin. <laughs> okay, let me let me delete the, the photo we took. Uh, delete. Delete. Okay. Uh, where are we now? Mm, okay. We're getting there. So we got a coin. Let's reconnect. Wait a minute. What can we do with the coin? Coin shines radiantly like a desert sunset. all this Let's see if we could talk to the people it used to be such a picturesque oasis how do we make this into okay grows in clusters okay we did that okay we did that cacti may look dry but we squeeze every last drop of water okay Where's the other one? Okay, follow the footprints, we did that. Mm, we did that. These are oasis pieces. See what we might be missing. Ouch! An even worse idea. Oh. I found some strong, some strange ruins, sisters. I'll meet you in the middle of them. I know I'm close to the haven, Captain. Found strange ruins. I'll meet you in the middle of them. Okay, this is one of them, right? We have to connect these.
Oh. Okay. Okay, I've got an idea. No. There we go. <laughs> Man, this game. Oh, but now we can't. Oh, yeah, we can. I see it! Through the sand, so hazy. Built up from the earth. Cool stones. Wrapped around water, deep below. And somewhere beyond. The haven. Huh. Got it. I see it. I'm so thirsty. Wait. Let's look around. I know what to do. What? No, that's gotta be it. Come on. Why isn't this? Oh, okay. Why? So thirsty. Which is the new one we got? Let's find out. Okay, we know this one already. We know this one. A rugged well missing a rope from its pulley. Some fresh water glints in the sun deep below. So this doesn't do that thing anymore. Wait, this is not it. Where where did all the people go?
Okay. this sun feel like we got it but it's not doing See what happens. The other people aren't there anymore. Oh, they're there now. Whee! Take care of yourself, sister. If you find yourself mumbling or too tired to move, you're dehydrated. Sigh. Have you encountered a noble white camel? That's our captain's mount. She leaves him to wait just outside the yellow sands. If you can find that camel, perhaps you'll find a clue to our captain. Hello there. Captain Samala said to head back to camp if we got lost. We're just regrouping. Then we're headed back out to find her. We're coming, Captain. But, hello. The coconuts were empty but we found a few more cacti to bring back. Oh, we have to use the coconut. We have to put the lime in the coconut. Oh, something happened. A noble, slightly... Okay. Oh, we got the handkerchief. Now we can get the water. Got it. That's all we needed. Water for the captain. Alright, we put the lime in the coconut. Here, lime, coconut. Gulp. Gulp. Ah. Ah. Thank you for saving me, sweet sister. I almost made it to the haven, but I lost my unit along the way. Please give me a moment to contact them. With haste, my friend. Huh? Oh, apologies. I was sending a message via sand beetle. They're a great tool for communication. 
We mark our position on their shell, and they burrow towards the footsteps of others. They shed their shell every few days, so it doesn't bother them. You must be very brave and resilient to have found me here. Did you pass my sisters along the way, might I ask? I'm so relieved. I knew they'd be fine, but I wasn't sure how, what, how, for my clues would get them. Sandy! Hello! Cool kids game. It is a cool kids game. It's very good. The puzzles are super fun. I recommend this one, Sandy. It's called Carto, and it's part of the PlayStation Plus uh, game catalog. How you doing, Sandy? And a big peacekeeper! Salute to you, Sandy! How are things? Peace Angels in the chat. Peace, angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. Good? How are you? Oh my gosh, Sandy. I don't see no ring on my finger. Doing all right. Little slow day. By the way, Sandy, have you checked out my YouTube channel? I put more videos, more, uh, more YouTube shorts on there. Yeah. They're getting a good a number of views this time. So, it's pretty cool. What is that emote? Man, that's an anime girl in the disco rave. Cool. You got so many cool emotes, Sandy. How many channels do you go to to get all these? Oh my gosh. All right. Let me, let me do this thing. I'm so relieved. I knew they'd be fine, but I wasn't sure how far my clues would get them. If I'm right, this is indeed the gate to the Desert Haven. But to open it, I need a special artifact. Our tribe has passed it down through generations, knowing it would show us the way when we truly needed it. What emote is that? Oh man, more rave emotes. Disco time, Sandy. Sandy, you go to you go to raves and discos and nightclubs and stuff? My gosh, Sandy, you're just 12. You can't go to those things. That's for adults. Man. <laughs> I believe that time has come. Sadly, I was harangued by a group of sand rogues, and one absconded with the artifact. While we wait for my sisters, could you please have a look around for them? All right. Thank you kindly. I am truly in your debt. Booty emote, Sandy! Man, there's no booty to be had here. It's a wholesome kids game channel. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Kids game channel. If you find one, remember, they're too fast to catch unless you can distract them somehow. One stole a bracelet right off of my wrist once. Those wily devils can attract are attracted to shiny things. The sand rogues should be in the yellow sands. Use something shiny to lure one out. If you don't have anything shiny, you can probably find something in the abandoned camp. All right, I know what to do. Okay, we have to go to the sands. Oh, fudge. Let's move this here and this here. Do you still need eyeliner? Why? You... I don't need no eyeliner, Sandy. Oh my gosh, there's no makeup thing here. Always trolling me, Sandy. I don't know why. So mean. You're a mean person, Sandy. 
What's this? <laughs> you keep touching them. Oh, this is cactus. We don't we don't need to touch the cactus. Oh no, we're in the desert. What's that emote? This and I don't even know what that is. That's creepy. It's creepy, Sandy. Don't give me creepy emotes. All right, we have to find the sand rogues. Where are the sand rogues? Man. Uh oh, there's one. Gold coin. <gasps> What's that now? Doot, 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 doot. Here. Put the coin there. I'm gonna hide. And I'll wait till that sand rogue gets there. Got him. A dizzy rat with a fluffy tummy. Kinda soft and very sandy. Meh. But something strange amongst its fur. A piece of the map. Got it. That was probably enough petting. We got the artifact. Can we get the coin back? No, we don't need the coin. This game is really good, Sandy. The puzzles are actually pretty fun. What's that? Dinosaur? You saying I'm old, Sandy? Calling me a dinosaur? My gosh. Oh, we got another piece of the map. See? We got another piece of the map. Now we can explore this. Budge! Hey, what's this for? It doesn't do anything. Ah, everyone's together! We made it! That gate, it's incredible! Centuries of weathering, and yet still it stands. But what do those symbols mean? Wow! Did you ever see that band of sand rogues scurrying by? They make my skin crawl. Who knew the desert would be full of rats? Don't we have snakes for that? Didn't think I'd make it, but yeah, did you, kiddo? I've still got some pizzazz. Or whatever the kids are, s are calling it. Let's see. And I wasn't going to let my only granddaughter go thirsty. She may be my captain, but I love her just the same. There's some ancient writing on that gate, almost as ancient as me. It says something about the light. Ah. Hmm. Here's the artifact. The artifact! You found it! I'm overwhelmed with gratitude. You are truly a miracle, sister. Now, if I'm right, we just have to put the artifact in place, like this. Mm-hmm. Amazing. <gasps> Whoa! Magic light. Stand in the light. The artifact is set. So, what's the final step? Hmm... Just stand in here.
What do we do? I think we, we have to build the oasis. Fudge. Fudge. Still no? I mean, we got this new map piece, but I don't know what it's for. Magic boots, amulet. No, none of this. The heck is that? How do we build it? Ah, this is not right. Oh, man. See? See how smart I am, Sandy? I can figure out these complex puzzles. It's not really a kid's game. It's for smart people. All right, we have water now. Wait a minute. I know, I know, I know what to do. We put the water in the oasis. There we go. Yes, we've brought water back to the desert. Nice. Yeah. Now they can survive. Oh. I guess our drinking water is also a camel bath. Ew. Oh well. I'm just going to not think too hard about that. Yay, water! You need some water filters. Oh. We're gonna have to make some connections.
Okay. Look at that. This guy's just having fun bathing there. People gotta drink that water, dude. Water at last! I'm grateful to you, kiddo. You helped track down my granddaughter. I mean, the captain. And then helped her find the haven. You're an honorary water seeker, as far as I'm concerned. <gasps> what is that? Oh, stairs. Secret way. Whoa! Did you feel that earthquake? It could only have come from the volcano. There must be a major eruption brewing to feel it all the way out here. There's no rest for the wicked, I tell ya. Out of the frying sand and into the lava. Huh. Drink deep of our new oasis. Wow! I always knew the haven was out there, but it still feels surreal to be here. We couldn't have done it without you. As soon as we track down some beetles, I'll send the messages out to the rest of our tribe to join us. And next on the list after that, water slides. Alright, this sounds fun. Where's the rest of the tribe? It's amazing! We're going to need a bigger camp and a boat! <laughs> okay. Well, well, well. We don't even need a well anymore. Maybe we'll turn it into a wishing well and finally have a use for those coins. No, you need that well because the water is deep and then it gets filtered by the sand and the dirt. Yeah, no. You need the well. It filters, filters the water. Cactuses have thorns. Hi, is that everybody? This feels like a Nintendo game. Which is cool because there's not a lot of those types of games on PlayStation. It's really good. Okay, I guess I guess it's time to explore again. The elders whispered of secret tunnels beneath the haven. Though mind, you might not find your way back once you enter. Okay. Some stairs leading down into the darkness. Check it out. Yes. Alright. Trophy earned. Uh, slate? Okay. What's this all about? Oh, the boat. Is... What's her name there? Shamara? Shannon's. Shannon's boat. She must be nearby. There's no reason to head back to the forest yet. Ah! Carto! I missed you, Carto. Ah, 
I was so worried when you didn't show up at our meeting spot, but it sounds like you've been busy. The story tender told me you dropped by here on your way to the desert. Did you find any clues about your granny there? Mm -mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's just a matter of time. I bet she's looking just as hard for you. Ah, you felt the ground shake too? I thought it was just my lunch disagreeing with me until some books fell off the shelf. The volcano must be acting up again. The eruptions are quite a sight to behold. The sky darkens with thick black smoke and orange embers drip through it like snowflakes. Hmm. That smoke might make the sky harder for your granny to navigate, Carto. I wonder if you can warn her somehow. I bet it's worth a try. Hmm, yeah. Great, I bet we can find some clues in the volcano wing. I'll meet you there. Such impatience. I'm sad to say, the Volcano Wing has been missing for some time. The chalet can be a bit unpredictable. Sometimes the rooms are where you'd expect, and sometimes they go missing. If only I could visit the top floor again someday. Huh? Ah, please, ignore me. Just the wistful yearnings of an old man. Anyways, I can't be of much help in locating the volcano wing. But I can usually find what I'm looking for if I read enough books. No better place to start. All right. The Little Cartographer The Little Cartographer had come up dry looking for her granny in the desert. But she had other burning issues to deal with. How could she warn her granny about the volcano that was about to erupt? And before that, she had to figure out how to get there. Perhaps one of our books can help you locate our missing volcano wing. Okay. What's this? Horror at the Story Chalet. That chalet is cursed, I tell you. While exploring its labyrinthine halls, I came across a floor sign bearing no number, but an ominous question mark instead. I ran to the stairwell in a panic, only to discover that the floors above and below it were equally unmarked. I saw rooms I'd never seen before on these unknown floors and fled in terror from the shock. I will never return to that unholy place. Huh. Second floor. Second floor book. The Water Seekers. Oh, I gotta charge the battery on the controller. Hold on, let me plug in the controller. Okay, should be good. Okay, the water seekers were highly revered in their tribe. 
being responsible for the survival of their people. This resolute group would seek out new water sources, often journeying far from, the, from home. Their senses were highly attuned to, this, to the desert environment around them to aid them in their search. Once a new water source was located, their tribe would migrate to join them, camels and all. Okay. No more books? No. Third floor. Oh ho! Look at that. Oh, it goes down. Okay, this is the forest, second floor. Cherb. Many years before Cherb became the 256th Watcher, Cherb was a small beardless Cherb. Cherb did not make friends easily and would spend many afternoons exploring the woods by Cherb's shelf self. <laughs> One fateful afternoon, Chirp followed a sad hooting noise and found an owlet stuck in an animal trap. Oh, fudge. Bug. <laughs> it's a flying bug in the house. It's weirding me out. Yeah. Chirp freed the owlet and disassembled the trap, turning it into a stretcher to carry the owlet uh, in until it healed. Cherub and Cherub's owl companion were never apart after that day, and now tend to mother together. All right, good for Cherub. Lempo, the Watcher. Bearing an earthworm companion and a great big bushy beard, Lempa, Lempa? Yeah, Lempa, the messenger, was chosen as the 255th Watcher. Lempa and his earthworm patrolled the Wildwood for decades, steadfast friends and protectors of Mother. Sadly, an errant sparrow snatched the earthworm from his shoulder, leaving him alone with the trees for the remainder of his watch. Oh, we have the worm, right? Though to this day, the countless progeny of Lempo, Lempa's earthworm friend crawl beneath our feet hungry for dirt and ready to help. Oh, so it's not the original worm. We have like the descendant worm. Root roots. Mother's roots stretched across the forest as she grew and far beyond. They grew along hidden paths, snaking their way to distant lands across the world. These paths were subtle and obscured uh, to all but the most intrepid explorers. Only the trees knew how to access them, and they didn't speak much. Okay. So we know we got these new rooms. This is the grassland room. I think I found something! Uh, let me read this first. Volcano. Volcanologists are divided on the accuracy and scientific basis of the volcano calendar. Proponents of the calendar claim that it's been an invaluable planning resource for countless generations. While detractors dismiss it as a bunch of meaningless nonsense carved on a wall by some vagabond. 
In any case, residents of the volcano always seem to avoid disaster somehow, whether or not they're expecting it. Okay. What'd you find, Shannon? I had just about given up on finding the volcano wing when it appeared out of nowhere. This is such a strange building. Anyways, I think I found something helpful in this book. Have a look. The volcano is a popular tourist destination due to its temperate weather and world-famous spas. Travelers can take the long way up, ascending its face over the course of several days. Or hope to catch a ride on a friendly member of its thriving mountain goat population. Though the fastest, most reliable path up the volcano lie deep within the forest, for those who can find them. It sounds like you can get to the volcano through the forest. If there's a path, I know you'll find it. No one is better at finding their way through the world. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, you'd like me to go with you? <clears throat> Doomp. Hmm. I worry that I'd just slow you down. I hate to split up again, but... You find your way around so quickly, and time may be of the essence. So hurry along without me, and in the meantime, I'll do some research for us here. Alright, I'll miss you, Shannon. Good luck in the forest. I know you'll find the way through to the volcano. Hmm. We still haven't gotten... We didn't go to this room. Oh, that's what this is. <laughs> okay. I think we've done everything, right? What's this? Yeah, grasslands. We did this. How do we go down? We need two doors. Did you find the volcano wing? It's got all the hottest items in the chalet. <laughs> yeah, I did. The little cartographer knew where to go next. She'd find her way to the volcano through a path hidden somewhere in the forest. She'd bid her friend goodbye once more and headed back toward the wildwood. Nothing was going to keep her from her granny. All right, I'm off. Okay. Here? Yeah, it looks like we have to go that way. All right, I think, oh, let's see what happens here first. Ah, small one. A boon to see you. The finest navigator of these woods I've known. We're in need of your skills. We can't seem to find Cherb. I mean, the new watcher. 
I'm not sure I'll ever get used to saying that. Neop and his vulture are getting a bird's eye view from one of the bigger trees. Maybe they've seen something interesting. All right, I th oh, hold on. I think we're gonna end here, and then we'll we'll pick this up next time we play this. <laughs> As you know, I alternate games, so it was a good two-hour stream. We did a lot. Oh my gosh! And finally, Shannon's back. I'm glad. We got boots. We completed the desert section of the game. Now we gotta go to the volcano and find Granny. Or warn her about the dangers of the volcano. Alright everyone. I think we're gonna go. Let me see. I don't think we have to raid anyone. Because it's just me here. It's just me on my lonesome. Any of my friends streaming? No. No one's streaming. Oh, tonight is the Queendom puzzle thing. That's where everybody is. All right. Okay, everyone, if you enjoyed this live or as a past broadcast, uh, please consider giving me a follow and making a new friend. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please, please follow and subscribe there. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel, and I hope you enjoy this. We will continue this game to the finish. And please enjoy my other games I've got going. And please check me out here on Twitch when I'm live. Uh, it'll be fun to chat with you all. Okay. A big peacekeeper salute everyone. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Peace.